All right, what's up, friends? We are going to build a Brawl deck on the spot right now. We're actually going to play some Vintage, but the, the Qs wouldn't fire. So we audible to playing some Brawl. we got to build a deck, and uh, let's just do it. We're going to do the entire build process of building a deck, and we're going to play... Uh, Probably play most of the league. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how many, how many matches we get in. We'll see how long the deck building process takes. First thing to do, legend. Where are we gonna start? So brawl is a new format for those who don't know. Brawl is a format. It's sort of like uh, commander light, like standard commander, where it's um, same idea as commander. We're gonna have a commander, which is gonna be a legendary creature or planeswalker that's gonna sit in the command zone. And uh, otherwise, our deck is going to be six or 59 cards, all singleton. So, Commander's 100 cards, uh, Brawl's only 60, because obviously Standard has a smaller card pool. So, we gotta look at, um, actually, Super Type. Is Super Type Legendary a possible thing? Type? Yes. Cool. So, um, we gotta, first thing we gotta do is pick Commander, right? We could pick Hope of Gear Purr and just play colorless stuff. That's a thing. We could do Kari Zev, do like kind of like an aggressive deck. Uh, Baral is pretty cool. Uh, Saram. I don't think there are enough equipments and auras in standard as a singleton to build a mono white Saram deck. Because for those that don't know, you're you're locked into the colors of your commander. So if Gideon of the Trials is our commander, we can only play white cards and so on and so forth. Um, so multicolor commanders are pretty ideal for that regard. Um, the Dominaria cards are not actually online yet, so we can't, uh, can't build around those. So what are we thinking here? There's gotta be, there's gotta be enough colorless lands though, right? Campbell's kind of cool. Locust God's a pretty cool one. Um... Depala seems pretty cool. Chandra, Hazaret. Gonti's pretty great. I do love Gonti. And Gonti does seem very good in a 30 life commander style format. You just keep stealing their cards over and over and over again. Gonti's pretty tempting. I would say Gonti is the current front runner for our commander. I'm happy to hear all suggestions in chat. Uh, Campbell's pretty cool. Depala's pretty cool. Like, if you're playing Depala, you get a lot of good cards in your deck. Um. All the vehicles are obviously very, very good. Um, Hotly. All right, we're not going to do Scarab God. That's pretty boring, right? So we're not going to do that. Um, other good multicolor legends you can play? Varaska's kind of cool. Varaska seems pretty good. Um, a Johnny Unyielding. It's also pretty cool. Dinosaurs? So what, I play play Zakama and do um do a dinosaur thing. Vampires is kinda cool. I don't think there's enough playable vampires. Dinosaurs is pretty cool too. I kinda like that idea. Um also we get to play three colors. So um we're gonna have a more wider array of possible options. I would say that these are probably our, our two options. I'm gonna let you guys vote, I think. Oh wait, maybe this card's better. This card's much better, right? Yeah, Gila, Gil, whatever. Um, so yeah, those are the two options that are tickling my fancy. So I'm gonna let you chat, vote, and figure this out. So we're gonna do Ganti Mono Black or Giz Gizath and Gizath Three Color Naya Dinosaurs. So we're gonna let you you decide. Poll time. You decide the commander. Yeah. Poll 90. Gonti or G I S H A T? All right, here we go. These are the choices. We're going to do Gonti, Lord of Luxury, as our commander, or we're going to do Giz Gizath. Sun's Avatar is our commander. Cast your vote in chat for which one you want. Make sure you spell it right. Make sure you put in just the first name. Just the proper name. If you type in Gonti Lord of Luxury, it's not going to count your vote. So, these are your choices. What do you choose? Gisath or Gonti? 
What do you guys think? What's up, lagging unicorn? For you folks just tuning in, welcome to the stream. We were gonna play vintage today, but nobody actually plays vintage online. I got a deck, I built it, put it together, joined the vintage queue, and sat there for eight minutes, and no one played with us. So we aborted that uh, that mission, and now we're just gonna build a build a, a brawl deck. Geeshath, Geeshath or Gonti? Cast your vote in chat. There's about 30 seconds left. Cast your vote. What do you want to see? You want to see a five, a four, a three-color dinosaur deck or a mono black Gonti deck? What's up, Finn? Uh, green black hour promise. I think those decks are strictly worse than the uh, the blue versions, but I don't think that Lana Rawls is a card that that wants. Girl from the Ashes is like okay if you're not playing Spring to Mind, but cast your vote. Five seconds left. The winner is Gonti seventeen, Gishath ten. Sorry, dinosaurs. We're doing a mono black. Mono black deck here. So there's our commander. Put him right over there. Also got a got a resub. Seaman resub. Show some love in chat for Seaman. So we are now going to black, colorless, not legendary, and we're gonna build our mono black brawl deck. So playing an Arch of Araska for sure, a Field of Ruin for sure, a Deadlands for sure. Um, probably a Desert of the Glorified and a Scavenger Grounds. I imagine we're just playing all those like locked in, and obviously a bunch of swamps. Um, I guess we can turn off Dominaria because I don't want to. I don't want to look at them because they're not legal yet. So all right. Let's see. So, Dead Eye Tracker's awesome. We gotta get to what? How many lands in a... Oh, duh, it's a, it's a, it's a 60 card deck. <laughs> brawl is on Magic Online. That's what we're doing right now. We're gonna build a sweet Brawl deck. And please just scream cards at me in chat. All right? We're putting this deck together. Just throw cards at me. I want constant yelling in chat. I want chaos. Um... Dread Wanderer is a maybe. I don't know how like creature heavy we're gonna be. Mastermind's Acquisition, that's a card. How does that work in Commander? I don't think that card actually works. Um, Harsh Scrutiny, maybe. What else we got here? I think we're gonna play like, kind of like a mid-range deck. So we're gonna play Hard of Kirin. We're gonna play Scrabby Scrounger. Chupacab. Gonti's Machinations. Oh, obviously. Um, Sunset Spirit Pyramid's kinda cool. Compass is kinda cool. Treasure Map is great. Treasure Map's definitely in. Um, Bloodfast, definitely in. Dinosaur Hunter. I don't know, that was a card. Moment of Craving, the Black Monument, no. Uh, it's 1v1 online, I, I wouldn't play it if it was multiplayer. Multiplayer's not my thing. Um, Dust Legion Zealot seems good. Uh, Glintsleeve Siphoner, it's not really any any energy stuff, but like it's still a reasonable card. Azor's Gateway, eh. Freebooter's probably not good enough. I imagine that Moment of Craving is also probably not good enough. Probably fine. Freebooter, eh, whatever, put it in. It's only 60 cards, so... Seeker Squire is like, okay... Uh, Vile Manifestation? Building a Cycling deck would be cool. Um, Walk the Plank, Aetherborn... Aether Sphere Harvester... I don't like that we can't kill artifacts in this deck, it's kind of annoying. Uh, Dynavolt Tower? Filigree Familiar? Probably not, but we'll put it in there. Do we want any ramp stuff? We do want to cast Gonti over and over and over again. Um, maybe the, the Black Monument's actually fine, because we're just always going to have Gonti to cast, and it always reduces the cost of Gonti. What's the Black Monument do? Bantu's Monument, right? Black Monument... 
could buy that. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird ramp spell. Araska's Relic. You're probably going to be ramping up. This card's actually pretty cool. I like this card. Mirage Mirror. Draining Gain. Uh, Mono Colored Cycling. Amid Eternal. Um, I think I want to be bigger. I don't think you have Bantu proper. Doomfall is pretty good. Dream Stealer seems. Meh. Inspiring Statuary, Herald of Anguish. I don't know if there's enough artifacts to make that work, though, you know? It's a pretty cool idea. Um, Lethal Sting. Forerunner of the Coalition. Meh. Plague Belcher. Ruin Raiders definitely in. Um, Vengeful Rebel. I mean, the card's pretty good. It doesn't really... seems hard to trigger, though. Vana's Hunger. Could maybe do that. Yeheni. Bantu's Last Reckoning. Hmm. Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Yeah, Herald is pretty cool. I don't mind having like a, a mild artifact theme. Fleet Wheel Cruiser, Oracle's Vault, Treasure Keeper. I kind of actually like that card. Bone Picker. Bone Picker's fun. Um, Hour of Glory. This will not exile a Scarab God, right? Contempt is definitely in for sure. Noxious Gear Hulk. Yeah, I can see that in. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Wrong Chupacabra. Wrong Chupacabra. Uh, let's see here. Oval Chase Daredevil. This card's actually, like, kind of fine. Honestly. Let's see. Gonti's already here. Can't add more Gonti's. Chupacabra. Oh, Twilight Prophet's insane. I love that card. Contempt. Yeheni's Expertise. Not really about that one. Um, hollow one. Definitely want Sky Sovereign. Anointed Deacon. What else we got in chat? Marionette Master? Maybe. That could be a thing. Um, Sly Requish Requisitioner. Whenever a non token artifact you control is put into a graveyard, create a servo. That's not gonna trigger very often. Archfiend of Ifner. I mean, we don't really have any like cycling effects. Yeah, I probably don't want that one. Never returns a good one. I think we missed that one. I mean, that one's that one's gonna be below. Obviously, Liliana. I think that Liliana's Master might just be fine by itself, like as a a card on rate. Um, we're already like over the mark here, kind of. Immortal Sun seems pretty good. Apocalypse Demon. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, Marionette Master, Noxious Gear Hulk, Tetsamok, Stinky Veraska, Demon of Dark Schemes. I'll play God Pharaoh's Gift, Herald of Anguish, Battle at the Bridge, Walking Ballista. All right, so I think we're gonna we're gonna get rid of some of these early creatures. Um, we're going to get rid of, I think Seeker Squire sucks. Scrap, or I guess Heart of Kirin. We don't really crew Heart of Kirin terribly well. Um, maybe we don't want the Cruiser. Uh, I don't want Azor's Gateway. How many lands? It's going to be like 23 or 24 lands, right? Uh, Harsh Scrutiny seems... Eh, because I can't hit their commander, obviously. Push is good, tracker is good, blood pass good. Siphoner seems fine. Um, Sunset Pyramid. I kinda like I kinda just like that card. Compass, map, doomfall. Vana's hunger seems like whatever. I like I like Bonter's Monument. Filler Grave Familiar seems unnecessary. Mirage Mirror is cool. Oval Chase Daredevil. It's kinda cool. Yeah, only, if only we had Smuggler's Copter. Chupacabra, 
Contempt, Oracle's Vault. I think his card's a little expensive. Uh, Liliana, Liliana's Mastery. Are there actually, there's actually no other zombies in the entire deck, practically. I guess Liliana makes zombies. Um... Marionette Master is not very good. We're not really like doing that much with uh, artifacts. Tetsamok is good. Demon at Dark Schemes. It's kind of cool. God Pharaoh's Gifts obviously good. Herald is good. Battle's good. Ballist is good. This seems reasonable, right? This is 37 cards. A 5 mana 6-6. Six, six. Um, Gate to the Afterlife? Eh, I don't think we need that. I do like Treasure Keeper, though. This card's great. Also, I, I want cards that can crew Hardikirin. I think we're still going to play Hardikirin. Uh, we have, like, a reasonable amount of cards that can crew it. Maybe we'll cut, uh... I think the Freebooter's a little loose. Um... Obviously, Scarab God's probably the best commander, but we're not doing that. All right, we're trying other stuff. All right, did I miss anything cool? Are there any cool cards that I missed? Help me out, chat. Bantu the Glorified. Never return? Oh, it's, 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 it's at the top, that's why. Yeah, it's hidden up here with the uh, the lands. Never returns, definitely in. Um, did I miss anything else up here? Any other cool ones? That card's interesting. I think Dread Wanderer is a little slow. Adventure's Fair is pretty cool. Uh, Aether Hub for for Siphoner. Filigree Familiar is okay. This card like sort of ramps, right? We're building the brawl deck. We're ready to brawl. We were gonna play Vintage, but no one wanted to play with us, so. Some graveyard hate? We already have scavenger grounds. We could play like the cycling card. Scarab Feast. We have Scrounger. Silent Gravestone just for Scarab God. It's a little much. I think maybe Duress is actually a main deckable card in this format. Everyone's got a lot of big stuff in their deck. Um, Night Market Lookout. That's a little too weak for my tastes. All right, so we're going to... um. Like we want to... Uh, what's the event Inventors Fair? Get one of those in there, too. Okay. We have 38 cards. We've got to cut a few. Um, I guess Liliana's Mastery kind of sucks. Oval Chase Daredevil. Card seems fine to me. Contempt. I like Treasure Keeper. I like Bone Picker. And Rune Raider. All these cards can crew the thingy, too. Mirage Mirror, Relic. I guess Moment of Craving might, might be a little unnecessary. Get rid of that one. Oops. What I just cut? Crap. What I just cut? Was it... It was, uh... The Death Touch guy. Get the Aetherborn. Okay. And, um... Maybe Dutch Legion Zealot sucks. I guess it, like, can crew stuff and come back with the uh, Liana and stuff, but... Compass, map, pyramid... Maybe we just don't play Duress. Yeah, screw Duress. Alright, I think this is our deck. 35 cards, 25 lands. Seems reasonable. Because we have a free... Maybe we actually play an extra land, because we, we have a free spell at all times with Gonti. Yeah, probably want an extra land. Let's, let's cut, um... Maybe Demon of Dark Schemes? Maybe cut the Daredevil. It's pretty, honestly, pretty good in a, in a, in a long game. We'll cut the Dust Legion Zealot. This card sucks. I don't like this card. It just doesn't do anything. Cultivator's Caravan. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good catch. Good catch. All right, now I gotta cut something else. Let's cut, um, Dust Legion Zealot. And we're gonna do. Is there a free mulligan in this? I don't think so. Okay. 
Gotta cut a card. It's gonna be Eh, screw it. Let's play we'll just play this. No free mulligan? Alright. Swamps. Let's go. It's brawl time. I'm ready to brawl. Where are my swamps at? Uh, swamps. Give my nice swamps. No, for real, where are, my, where are my swamps? There they are. Snow covered swamps, that's not gonna work. Add 10. Now I gotta play 59, or I guess it's 60 with the, with the Gonti, right? All right, we did it. This is our first ever brawl deck. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. Like I said, we were gonna play Vintage today, but um, we, we loaded up a really cool Vintage deck. We got everything all set. We joined the, the queue, and then there was just no one there. We, we waited in the queue for like seven minutes and decided there's only 39 players in the Vintage League. We're not gonna get enough matches in to actually have a good time. We took a vote, and we decided we were gonna do Brawl instead. First Brawl deck, Gianti. That's our deck. All right, and I'll get, I'll get some cards here. I mean, a Bantu's Monument, a Herald of Anguish. All right, add to wish list. All right. Don't you want an Arch of Araska and an Aether Hub? Well, I have an Arch of Araska. I don't want Aether Hub. It literally only helps Siphoner, and I feel like it's gonna screw me more often than it's gonna help me. I just want the black source. So, all right, I'm gonna grab these cards real fast. You guys can look at my beautiful face and this beautiful Photoshop. It's gonna be in my article tomorrow, so a little article preview. Once again, we're doing a fun thing this stream where every new sub, we're gonna open a pack of Ixalan or Rivals of Ixalan. And if we open a foil rare or mythic rare, we're gonna give it away live on stream. That's right live on stream every new sub to the stream if you're if you're a returning sub i love you but you, you don't count for this promotion so that's awesome playing some brawl getting some cards patrick ewing does not deserve the slander i mean look at those shorts man 10 tickets oh boy we're gonna break the bank here playing brawl can't believe i'm buying a bantu's monument that's ridiculous but yeah, my article's up tomorrow, StarCityGames.com. It's called The Dominaria Over-Under. It's some overrated and underrated cards from Dominaria. Ah, oh, crap, my tickets are untradeable. God, I hate Magic Online. It takes so long to do anything. Yeah, article's up tomorrow, StarCityGames.com. Get ready for that. It's going to be awesome. We got pre-releases coming out. We got a new set coming out. It's going to be sweet. I'm super excited. I have a lot of brewing to do. Um... A lot of brewing to do, and I'm um, super excited to brew. Uh, a lot of brew streams tomorrow, and uh, and uh, maybe a little over the weekend. Definitely Monday, Tuesday next week for sure. Then next week I am going to be going down to the uh, to work on the new house for a bit. Um, but we'll make some cool stuff happen regardless. And uh, and yeah, life is good. Dominaria is great. New house is coming along good. Life is good, and for God's sakes, it's Laquata's champion. As Patrick Ewing. Tomorrow's article. That's 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 the spoiler. Teaser right there. Not spoiler, teaser. Alright. Our deck done. Our deck's done. Let's go. It's time to brawl for the first time ever. Friendly 1v1 Brawl League. Is there only that's the only league available? This league is 160 players. All right, well, why am I not? Brawl. Why, why can't I play? Magic Online, I swear to God, I just want to play some Brawl. And you're not letting me. Brawl. What don't you understand about this? Why can't I play my deck? What did I do wrong? Oh, 
Oh, Commander of a Cyborg. Okay, sure. All right. Sorry. I didn't know. That makes sense. It's fine. I get it. It's my fault. I'm dumb. You're smart. I'm ugly. You're good looking. Eight events, I guess. We got a new sub. Todd of the Hammer. Todd of the Hammer. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Where are you from? And what do you want to name Nicole's puppy? We got a thousand subs. I got Nicole a puppy. Also, like I said, whenever we get a new sub to the stream, we open up a pack. Open a foil rare or mythic. We'll give it away live on stream. And yes, Vintage failed horribly. I built a cool Vintage deck. was ready to play. And there was 39 people in the league. Couldn't find a match. Here we go. Let's go. Open a, a foil rare or a foil mythic. We give it away live on stream. Let's go. Every new sub gets a pack. Only new subs, though. Returning subs, you're just schlubs. Induced amnesia. Oh, it's a foil, but that is not a foil rare. Sorry, folks. Hey, Burns, you want a sun crested uh, pterodon? There you go, bud. Good for Burnsy, good for chat, good for everyone. All right, Todd for Indiana. Kisses is a great name for the pup. That's that's cool. What's up, Russell, dude? All right, so we're gonna put our commander over here, like pseudo in our hand. Their commander up. Oh, we were gonna do dinosaurs and chose not to. That's their commander. All right, we're gonna. I'm just going to keep, right? Because I have a Gonti in my hand already, so we'll just keep. Get him, Burnsy. Burnsy loves opening packs. Yeah, we're not playing Vintage. That, that, that screwed up. No Scarab God. Scarab God, boring. All right. I do like Sunset Pyramid a lot. I think one of the one of the big lures to a format like Brawl is you get to play the cards you think are really cool but aren't actually good enough for constructed. Like Commander's not really like that. Commander's just like Soul Ring and all like the super super good cards. You can't actually play fun cards. Um, but this is like we're actually playing Sunset Pyramid in our deck. Um, all right, so we could draw a card or play. Where my Commander go? Would you stay there, please? Um, we're playing Gonti next turn. I guess we're just gonna play Mirage Mirror. We don't really need to draw a card. All right. What you got, opponent? We can copy your dinosaurs. New Horizons. Ramping. All right, it's Gonti time. Sky Sovereign's pretty sweet. Sane! And yes, turn five, Herald's gonna be very good. What the hell? Cast. If Gonti would change zones, it goes to hand, not command zone. Command zone instead of graveyard, command zone instead of. Hand, not command zone. No, wait. All right, so, okay, so I get it. So there's four four replacement effects. If it would go to my hand, I want it to go there, not command zone. And if it would go to graveyard, library, or exile, I want it to go to the command zone instead. Not super intuitively written, but all right, we're going to cast this. Gone to you time. So Sane, we got a new sub. Sane, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time, favorite deck of all time, most important. What's your name? Where are you from? What do you want to name the puppy? All right, we got Siege Horn Ceratops. Ooh, I like this card. The Seer, it's a mana creature. And then Forerunner of the Empire is not going to be very good for us. There's uh, only one dinosaur in our deck. Although it is a really good one, but 
I think we'd rather just have the Seer and have some mana ramp. We're casting Herald next turn regardless, but... Hmm. Finding the dinosaur, like the... The big black dinosaur is not... Yeah, whatever. We'll just get the stupid Seer. Ramp some more mana. That's in our hand, too. And we'll say go. Gotta open that booster pack for Sane. Let's go. Pack time. All new subs. Let's get a pack open for them. If we open a foil, mythic, or rare, we'll give it away. Let's go. Here we go. Bonus in the tank. We're opening booster packs. Rare. No. Rare is Path of Metal. No foil. No foil. Sorry, folks. Better luck next time. We're playing Brawl. Brawl is the new format on Magic Online and uh, in paper. Basically, standard commander, essentially. Baraska's Contempt is a really good card to have. So we're just going to slam jam our Herald of Anguish. Um... And call it a day. Make them deal with this. I'm gonna leave Gonti back on D. Started 30 life, which is interesting. Sane is Alex from Ohio. And Alex has been playing since M15. Favorite deck is four color gifts ungiven. Favorite card is Dig Through Time. The best puppy name, of course, is Ashiok. They discarded a baffling end. So they could have like cast out, Thopter Arrest, or Ixalan's Binding as answers to Herald of Anguish. Otherwise, it's pretty hard to kill, honestly. Next turn, we can go Sky Sovereign and pick off the Huntmaster. They have seven mana right now, so. I guess Carney T isn't very good against us because we have Visconti. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have gotten the uh, the, tut the tutor, like the the dinosaur tutor, and just gotten that big black dinosaur. Tetsamok. Uh, Dominaria comes out tomorrow. Well, the problem was we we could queue in Vintage for a brawl deck, but Vintage wasn't actually firing, so. All right, so they can cast this card next turn, um, but we can also just kill it with Contempt, which is pretty cool, so not too worried about it. Um, we could copy... We draw a land. We can copy Herald, attack for 10, and make him discard two cards, and leave up Contempt. That's pretty good. We'll see what we draw here. That's a Doomfall. Um, Doomfall is not very good. Because we're going to need to contempt this with the ability on the stack. So they don't get to use all the abilities on it. So it's there. Remember, they have two, four, five, six, seven. They have eight. Yeah, one more land. And they're good to go on that. So. Yeah, discarding their hand doesn't actually matter. Because all we need is a land to cast this thing. So we're just going to attack. And then leave up contempt. I think, right? Yeah. And then once once they cast this and we kill it and it costs 11, then we kill the Huntmaster with our Sky Sovereign and we're in pretty good shape. Who says, who says I can't have fun? Look at me. Playing Brawl. Playing a little casual format. Regisaur Alpha to the bin. So it's curious if they can, I don't know if they kept a better spell or just kept kept the land. I mean, this this is I think this is a pretty. I think our opponent, our opponent should have just kept the Regisaur Alpha and cast it because I pretty obviously have a, a spell here. All right, so that comes into play. Contempt it. Now we're gonna kill the Huntmaster with the uh, the Sky Sovereign for sure. So now this thing costs eleven. We kill the Huntmaster, and they're pretty far off from casting it again. So 
This is an easy block. Gonti, get back in the command zone. Yeah, I'm not too big on multiplayer. I find this one-on-one -on -one commander stuff pretty fun. Like, I never, I would never out of, go out of my way to build a commander deck for one on one. Not oh, funny. For 1v1, because, like, just a lot of effort. But building a brawl deck is easy. All the cards are super cheap, so. Alright, um. Yeah, we're gonna attack. Why is there no, like, signifier on how many times you've cast it? But yeah, multiplayer games are not for me. I just get I get frustrated very quickly because everyone's so irrational and the game just takes forever. All right, discard your only card. I think we're in pretty good shape. We have two, four, six, eight, eight mana, and this thing costs eleven. Treasure map. Okay. This card's great. What's up, liars? You folks just tuning in. Welcome. Don't forget, we're doing a promotion today for every new sub. We open a booster pack. Look at that. It's like I it's like I planned it that way. Every new sub, we open a booster pack. We open up a rare mythic, we'll give it away. We got a new slob, Bane's Bane Slayer93. Bane Slayer, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Where are you from? And what do you want to name Nicole's puppy when we get there? Alright. Um. Hmm. Because you cast a Seer and maybe Doomfall of his Ranging Raptor. You don't really have to Doomfall the Raptor. Who really cares, I guess? But. We're definitely attacking, so. We'll open that pack when it's uh, their turn. This game is pretty much in hand, it feels like. Um, we're gonna. Is that be Gonti? Yeah, just Gonti. Or we can, yeah, just Gonti, whatever. Gonti's too fun to not cast. Gonti's a really fun commander. Because Gonti's one of the funnest cards to cast. Thrashing Brontodon. Forerunner four of the Empire again, but now we already, we already drew our thing. So let's get Brontodon. Can't play lands, right? Yeah. Alright. Ready to roll here. Let's F6 our opponent's turn. Let's open up that pack for our new sub, Baneslayer93. Not Lyra Dawnbringer, the original Baneslayer. Here we go. Open up a foil. Rare or mythic. We give it away. All new subs. Let's go. Get some garbage here. Whatever. Cards for Burns 8. And we got Navigator's Ruin. Ruthless Knave. Dire Fleet Captain. What are they casting? Burning Sun's Avatar. That's a thing. That thingy, and no foil. No foil. Thanks for playing, though. Thanks for playing. Burning Sun's Avatar. All right, so they kill our Gonti. Sure. Bane Slayer is John from Indiana. Started during Fifth Dawn. Favorite card is Burning Tree Shaman. Cool. Favorite deck, Tribal Zoo, and the name would be a Chroma. Sweet. Well, John, thanks for subbing. I appreciate that. All right, I um, guess we're close to Tetsamok range. Uh, two, four, six, eight, only have eight mana. Probably wanna kill this treasure map. We can Sky Sovereign. Doesn't really do much though. We could like Brontodon crew Sky Sovereign Hardikiran, or just copy. Oh, I got it. No, never mind. It's legendary. Can't copy Sky Sovereign. Another new sub. I'll get to you in a second, my friend. Um, how did Nicole do the PTQ? Uh, not too well. Thrashing Brontodon. Don't we have lethal? No, you can't we can't copy that. Oh, we can copy this though. Yeah, we have lethal, you're right. I can copy Herald of Anguish, that works. I was locked in on trying to kill this Burning Sun's avatar. Mirage Mirror is great. Got 
Gonti's great. This is great. Y'all having fun? Oh, I'm having fun. And I'd say our, our, our vehicles seem good. Opponents are so friendly in, in, in casual formats. GG's. Looks like a fun build. Thanks, friend. All right. We did it. We're 1 0. Let's go again. We also got a, a pack to open. All new subs. We open a pack. Open a mythic or foil rare. Give it away. Dominaria comes online. Mirage Mirror is a pretty cool card. All right. If we open up a foil, mythic, or rare, we give it away. We got a new sub. If everyone can thank Real Milkman for this. We got Fire Cannon, Air Elemental. Oh boy. Skirm or Skin Shifter, Swamp, Token, no foil. Yeah, mana bases. The mana bases do seem to be the one like limiting factor in Brawl because, um,. Obviously, if you're playing a two or three color deck, you should not have that many options. So, we could retire right now. Just stop playing Brawl and just be, have a lifetime 100% win rate in the format. Gonti. I feel like I should have played one more land. We're going to keep, but I should have made land. Oh, I should have played Gilded Lotus. Not playing Gilded Lotus was a huge punt. Their commander is Tezzeret the Schemer. Oh, we're on the play. Oh, they're on the draw. Oh, well. Just gotta draw one land. Make the original duels legal. Uh, that would that would uh, kind of damage the, the cheap aspect of the format. That's a pretty good draw. Truth be told, that's a really good draw. Tezzeret's pretty cool. Not as cool as Gonti, but pretty cool. That's behind the BCW. Oops. Yeah, Compass is pretty sweet. Opponent's got one too. Challenge Numot. If someone wants to go to Numot stream and set that up, I will happily challenge Numot to a game of Brawl. Well, the problem is that they're they're cheap online, but not in real life. So. All right, Milkman is Jesse, originally from New York City, but now live in LA. Started playing during the dark. Stopped in 97. Took 20 years off playing. Awesome. Started back in September. Welcome back, my friend. Favorite card, Mana Drain. Favorite deck, Original Necro. Jesse, welcome, my friend. Thanks for tuning in. All right, they might have a counterspell or something here, but I don't really care. So, here you go. Gaunti. All right. Gaunti feels... Great. Reverse Engineer, Silent Gravestone, or Prophetic Prism. Uh, I'm pretty down with Reverse Engineer. We have artifacts in our deck. I love this card. It kind of sucks, but I love it. All right. We're good. Gaunti time. Flavor fail. That is not allowed. How can Gonti fight against himself when he's the commander? I don't like this. Flavor fail. Unhappy. All right. Um, so we can go Pyramid Engineer here. Yeah. Must be a clone. Doomfall. All right. Um, we can go Pyramid, draw three. That would leave us with too many cards in our hand, though. We can also go Pyramid, get a land with the Compass. We can look at their hand. Put Liliana. Playing Liliana is pretty appealing, actually. That's a pretty good one. We have God Pharaoh's Gift, too. So we can put cards in the graveyard for God Pharaoh's Gift. Our deck seems great. You meant to play when the League is done? Sounds good. Streamer Showdown. 
We hit Scrappy Scrounger and Noxious Gear Hulk. Wow. How lucky is that? How lucky is that? We hit a, a big card for our Liliana slash God Pharaoh's gift and a card that's just good in the graveyard anyway. All right, so we want to make some more land drops. Um, man, Noxious Gear Hulk and Liliana is great. What a good hit. Well, we're going to put more stuff in the graveyard eventually, obviously, so Scrappy is still really good. Like, if the option is have a Scrap Heap in my, in my yard or not have a Scrap Heap in my yard, I would say that I'd rather have a Scrap Heap in my yard, you know? Wait. Can I allow... If, if Gonti dies, can I allow him to go to the graveyard then exile him to Scrap Heap and put him in the command zone? Because there doesn't seem to be an option for that. It made me decide where I wanted him to go when I cast him. How's that work? Control in the new set? Um, I'm going to be brewing next week. I haven't thought about it too much yet. Alright, well, I'm happy to play a new mod after this thing. I am, I am right-clicking him. Nothing happens. Yeah, I feel like that's the kind of thing that will happen in... You can do it in real life, but in Moto, maybe you can't. All right, we're going to block. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, I just went, went to the command zone. All right, that's lame. Whatever. Um, it's a mock. So we go Pyramid, draw three, hopefully make a land drop, make a token. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So we'll plus first. Swamp Heart of Kieran. Okay. Nice. Discard this card, too. Ardex, great. Certified, awesome. Right, but the problem is if I if I change it here, like I have to do it preemptively. Oh, is it is it, is there an option here or something? Like I don't see once once you cast it, I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. We don't need that scrap even that bad. We're doing pretty good this game, so. Glint Nest Crane, yeah, F six. Oh, tell Numat that once this game is over, I'm ready to battle. So, how'd I draw three? My opponent's reverse engineer, because Ganti is awesome. Prism, sure. Little arrow puts it back over here. What's up, Wither Without Plan? That's a resub. Welcome back, my friend. So, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. The plan for today was to play some vintage. I actually got this cool vintage deck all set up. Here, I'll show it to you real fast. Look at this cool deck I had. Got this deck, got all the cards for it. Looked really, really fun. I joined the vintage league and there were 39 players in the league. We waited for about five or six minutes. Nobody joined to play against us. So, we just stopped. So we're done. Um, okay. Do I want to put Champion Wits in the graveyard? I guess I do, right? Whatever. Sure. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking deck, right? Yeah, I didn't get to play it. Sorry. Okay, so they have... Caravan? We just have so many good cards in our hand. Um... I don't want to get. I don't even want to do anything yet. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna doomfall them. I think, like cast caravan, doomfall, make a token. Um. Yeah, I'm just like set up for next turn. I could. I cast the uh, the daredevil actually. Yeah, let's just cast doomfall first and see what happens.
I mean, I don't want to never the the crane. All right, so their hand is Harold Bloodfast, Hour of Glory, Liliana. <whistles> it's pretty good. Um, the Herald is the probably the worst card for us. Bloodfast is also really good. If they, if they play Herald, we lose a card. I can discard the Daredevil, and we can just kill it with Never Return. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. Uh, so we'll take the Bloodfast, I think. Bloodfast or Liliana? Maybe it's Liliana. Yeah, I think it's actually Liliana. We can probably beat a Bloodfast. An Hour of Glory is annoying, but not really that big of a deal. All right, we'll take Liliana. Play land. If we play Caravan, we can draw a card off Pyramid. We can do that anyway, though. Yeah, it's, it's Caravan. Make a token. Our compass is going to flip, too. Elementor Whisper says, what if you let him go to the graveyard, then exile him to God Pharaoh's gift, have him go to command zone? Um, I don't know, Whisper. <laughs> never played commander before, never played brawl before. We're just, we're winging it right now. The game's definitely complicated. Like, we're, we're both still at 30. I have a bunch of ridiculously powerful cards available to us. My opponent's hand is this. Opponent, hello. Are you there? Knock, knock, knock. Hello. All right, well, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. Don't forget we're doing a promotion today. Every new sub we get, we'll open a pack of Ixalan. And if we give away, if you open up any foil rare or foil mythic, we'll give it away live on stream. So all new subs, that's for you. Um, the packs are right here. They're waiting for you. I got plenty of them. This is me and Nicole's prize from our two HG tournament at uh, GP Hartford, because we're uh, we're obviously two HG ringers. Yeah, Moto does not seem to let you do cool stuff like that. If you haven't followed, make sure you follow. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow there. And don't forget also to follow me on the old Twitter sphere. We uh, haven't fought on Twitter lately. This, this this is the vintage deck we were going to play. I guess I'll tweet that I'm playing Brawl instead. Uh, whatever. Vintage. So the Magic Line Vintage League only has 39 players in it and a match wouldn't fire so instead we are playing some brawl Ganti is our commander perhaps today is a good day to die www.twitch. our opponent's finally back All right, new sub, Scary Larry. Our opponent's back. Uh, yeah, we're good. We milled a mirror and a Bantu's monument. Tell, well, I want to have the match set up first before I go announcing it, you know? Um, new sub, Scary Larry. Scary Larry, what's your name? Come on, opponent, let's go. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And what do you want to name Nicole's puppy? We got a pack to open. Our opponent's taking forever. The image you see on the screen is a preview from my article tomorrow. That's a little teaser. Yes, that image is in my article tomorrow on StarCityGames.com. The article they paid me to write. That image I made. There we go. Open a foil, rare, or mythic. We give it away live on stream. Come on. Let's go. That card was in our opponent's deck. That card's not in any decks. Uh, uh. All right, I got a merfolk. I'm not feeling any more cards here. I'm just feeling a token. Yep. No, no foil there. Sorry, folks. Thank you for subbing, though. And our, I don't know what our opponent's doing anymore. Up. Oh, now they're back. 
So our Compass will flip. Cool. A little Maze of Ith action. Yeah, got it. And we'll show this new feature where you can stop yield until here, my opponent's turn. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this should, this option should allow me to yield until my opponent's end step. All right, they cycle in some lands. They play a swamp. They hostage taker. That card's so good though. That's not fair. Oh. They took advantage of the fact that I I auto yielded until their turn. God damn it. I'm never using this feature again. I should have on auto yielded. That was stupid. So I try. Oh, whoop, no, stop my opponent's turn. I tried to use that new feature. It got screwed, obviously. All right, choose blockers. There are no blockers. Maze of Ith. That was dumb. I was just bored. Cause my opponent was taking so long. I was trying to save time. I was trying to make it a better viewing experience for you, my fine, fine viewers. All right. Hostage takers a tilt. Demon of Dark Scheme is also a tilt. Um, might just be Gonti time. We have nine mana. God Pharaoh's Gift. I don't want to get back Scrounger or Gear Hulk, I don't think. So it doesn't really do anything. I guess we could plus Liliana. We're not going to ultimate. We're not going to return anything, so we're just going to plus it. We uh, hit Twilight Prophet. That's actually a really good card to God Pharaoh's Gift. All right, so... Twilight Prophet, Crew Caravan. Now they have Aspires. And these are some long games here. Uh, we can Gonti. I want to hold this Daredevil. Yeah, we're just going to... Went this series, I'm going to upkeep, right? What do they have in there? And they have a, an Hour of Glory, which can kill it. All right, let's play Gandhi. Disallow, rebuke. All right, search. We're taking we're taking disallow for sure, because um, that's awesome. Having a counter spell in a non blue deck is sweet. So now we have a disallow available to us, which is sweet. And we're gonna crew up and attack. Oh, they have, I they have aspires. I'm so, I'm so dumb. Whatever. Maybe they, maybe they have sixed. I'm so, uh, I'm so bad. I'm not paying attention. If they, if they let this go through, we can't disallow, but they're going to just do it, obviously, so whatever. Um, no, we're not going to do it? That's pretty sketchy. Oh, they have a... No. That's pretty weird. Why would they not maze there? Unless they were literally trying to make it so you couldn't cast disallow. Pretty weird. All right. Um, Scary Larry is Lawrence from Chicago. Favorite deck is Blue White Control. Favorite card is Rain, Academy Chancellor. Puppy name should be Jack Burton. That's specific. Played against me in Milwaukee. It was awesome to play against you. Awesome. Well, Lawrence, thanks for subbing. Appreciate it very much. I'll put this over here, I guess. It's pretty convoluted game state here. They haven't cast their commander yet. I, I like forgot they had a commander, honestly. Oh, there it is. Okay. What does this do? Makes makes treasures. This is their hand. This thing makes treasures. 
and it shrinks stuff. They're gonna minus x minus x Arganti. Sure. Yeah, I mean that that definitely could have been like it is pretty weird that they would just like not maze of it there, but you know. You know, we'll see. Bloodfast, sure. We might be in line for an ultimate next turn, honestly, just to clear the board up a little bit and start attacking. Now that our we need to pressure their life total, like Liliana's not going anywhere. Um, so they've cast Bloodfast. They cycled Desert. They've played Prism. I put the island too. So they have Hour of Glory, Herald of Anguish in their hand. Jack Burton is Kurt Russell's character in Big Trouble in Little China. I have not seen that movie. I saw Kurt Russell in Stargate. That was a cool movie. Our bonus got a timeout, I feel like. Seven. We draw a land, we're gonna God Pharaoh's gift, I think. Yeah. Alright, so I think we're gonna. Yeah, let's, let's destroy all non zombie creatures. It's obviously like not the best ultimate ever, but like it's just sitting here. We're using it every turn. And then we're gonna cast. Kinda wanted to cast this before with Daredevil in the graveyard, but whatever. I could have gotten the Scrappy back too. No, I couldn't have. This is only th I don't want to remove the Gear Hulk or the Prophet. So let's go to combat. We still have access to Dislaw, which is gas. Get back Twilight Prophet. And we're going to attack. I guess we'll kill Tezzeret. So we'll go Tezzeret, 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 them. Right? Because, like, they can maze one. This ensures Tezzeret dies. They take two. Otherwise, we're attacking them for six. This is better. So I'll have a sneaky disallow floating around, which is pretty cool. All right, so they maze the 2-2, two -two, which is correct. What's up, Ansky? And yeah, ship a turn. I'd say this game is going well for us. They have Bloodfast, but like, we have the board 10 ways till Sunday. We have a counter spell. We have a lot of removal in our hand. Like, they have an Hour of Glory, which is fine. They can kill this, whatever. They have Herald of Anguish, which is fine. We can just kill it. We can just discard the, the Oval Chase Daredevil. We get to discard the Daredevil, get back Scrappy, get back Daredevil, which is pretty cool. We're doing good. Life is good. Having a good time playing some Brawl. Not what we planned on doing today, but it's working out well. Are they just shipping the turn here? No. This disallow is like only for the very best of things. I guess they have this card in their graveyard, which is whatever. I would say the game is not really about cards at the moment. We are plenty ahead on card advantage. Having the commander really changes the texture of the game because you always have something to do with your mana. So, like, you can... Flooding out is, like, almost impossible, which is a nice thing. Confiscation Coup on Twilight Prophet. I think that might be counterable. Like, they can... It's a zombie. I guess we could just kill it. Eh, I guess it's fine. Like, otherwise they're just gonna kill it. What is this? Get rid of mana cost for... Uh...
Yeah, this is fine. All right. Quattro, another new sub. Everyone show some love in chat for our new sub. Eighth sub of the stream, Quattro. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Herald of Anguish. Now we're going to kill both these creatures. We could, we could do a Tet's Mock, right? Yeah, we just go bang, bang, bang. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Discard the Daredevil. That's fine. Discard the Daredevil. Also, we get a new... We had open a booster pack. We'll do that in a second. So we're going to... So, plus Liliana. We hit Contempt in the Immortal Sun. Tetsamok here. Tetsamok. We still have mana open for Disallow. Dinosaur. And we can cure the thingy. No, actually, we can't we can't cure the thingy and, and not leave a disallow, so I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, we have this thing too. I guess I just get the daredevil back. Sure, whatever. Just get our beats on here. Uh puppy countdown. We're at 259 subs. We need 1,000 for a puppy. And we're gonna say go here. We're gonna open up, open up this booster pack, all new subs. Every new sub we get today, we're going to open up a booster pack. If you open up a foil, rare, or mythic, we're going to give it away. Our opponent is uh, doing stuff. Draw a card. Yeah, whatever. Dominaria is tomorrow. All right, here we go. Here it is. That's all the crap, right? Is that still all common? Noxious Gear Hulk. So right now they're at 13. Now they're pretty close to dead. I think we actually just probably counter this and kill them, right? They, we have five, it's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17. Yeah, they're, they're just dead. All right, let's just kill this. I'll even tap for blue. F6. Big face cam, let's go. Buy me a foil, we'll give it away. Foil rare or mythic. Captain's hook. Well, that's nothing, there's no, no foil there. All right. Sorry, folks. Try again next time. We won! All right, so does Newmont want to play? Or did that, 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 that take too long? Probably took too long. All right, Quattro is from Finland. Playing since original Zendikar. Favorite card is Moldrifter. Favorite deck is Black White Burn. What? And then Ivanov for the puppy. Sweet. Another new sub. Norby. Gnorby, what's your name? Where are you from? Red White, got it. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? What do you want to name Nicole's puppy? Another pack. Let Newmont know. And we're going to have a streamer showdown live here on the stream. A brawl between myself and Newmont the Nummy. We got a pack for uh, for Gnorby here. Let's see. If I open a foil rare or a foil mythic, we give it away live on stream. Let's go. Scoundrel. Man, our, these cards suck. That's a foil, but it's not a mythic or a rare. Sorry. Thanks for playing, though. Name the puppy Yagmoth and get a black lab. Uh, Nicole's sister has two black labs, and they've destroyed their entire house, so prefer not to. All right, well, then we'll keep playing. Once we line up, we'll play. So we'll, we'll play another match, too. And then um, if we line up, me and Numa are going to play. So... Everyone can stop. Stop what they're doing. Morpheus is fighting Neo. Everyone stops. Drop all their coffee cups. <gasps> Let's do it. Don't blame the labs. Blame the own. No, it's the labs. They are they just walk around to destroy stuff. He looks close to winning. Yeah, it's a dog thing. Why do you think I don't want a dog? Because I like my stuff. Are you, all right, so we'll, we'll wait a second. We'll give him a second. Let's watch, honestly. I don't want to watch. I don't, I don't want to see his deck. He's ready? All right. Challenge. Tell him a challenge. Let's go. Streamer showdown.
What's up, Swazzy? So if you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. Pick the good time to stream to, to hop in. Me and Numa the Nami are gonna have a brawl challenge for the ages. Numa the Nami, obviously Kenji, popular streamer, who's on right now also. And um, I believe there's a way to pull up both streams and watch them at the same time. Um, I don't know how uh, I don't know how to do that though, but it can be done. I'm pretty sure. Burnsy, you ready? Burnsy, here. You want this? Uh, want another sun crested pet uh, pterodon? Here. Wake up. Get hype. Multi. There he goes. Burnsy knows what's up. All right. Burnsy don't screw around. It's called having two screens. Yeah, that's that's confusing to me. I don't understand. Ah, oh, brutal. All right. Okay, just keep an eye on him, and then I'll play another match, and we'll we'll get to it. We'll we're gonna line up eventually. We're just gonna keep winning matches in between the uh, between the between stuff here. Listen, if you want your magic cards damaged. Burnsy's your guy, all right? Burnsy is your guy. How long do I plan on streaming? Gonna be leaving in an hour or so. Um, yeah, not not too long today. John has hockey this afternoon. And I think if John has a good day in school, we're gonna do a, a John and Jim show also. So, Gimp, thank you. Gimp put up the link for both streams. Burnsy is eating a dinosaur. Look at him. Everyone shows some love for Burnsy and chat, please. The most famous gerbil in the world. League matchmaking failed? What happened? Did I miss it? This is our deck. Our brawl commander is Gonti. If you're just tuning in once again, we tried to play Vintage, and uh, no one was playing Vintage. So he audibled to play Brawl. Gonti's our commander. We are 2-0 and so far in our, with our cool Brawl deck here. Donation Soul Sisters next time? Um, yeah, we can do that next week. I'm going to be pretty... I don't know. I'm going to be pretty heavy on Dominaria stuff. I might want to hold that off, Swaz. Because um, I want to be mono-Dominaria for the most part. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Numod apparently queued up another match without, without seeing it. So um, we'll get one, though. You guys, just keep, 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 keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on me. And when we're both not in the match, we'll come together. Edel. We're playing against Willie Edel. All right, cool. Um, all right, it's fine. Got better. We've got the Inspiring Vantage, Silent Gravestone. Sure. Don't care too much about that one. A scrapbook you made for your ex fiance. Sorcerer's Spyglass? That's lame. They're going to name Hardicure and her mirror, I guess. I can't remove that, spy, that spyglass, so. Oh, his commander is, uh, same thing as our first run opponent. Primal Calamity. Ours is Gonti. Numod is playing against Todd Stevens. That's, that's funny. Well, Todd will beat him, and then I'll beat Numat, so we're good. All right. All right. So they've seen our hand. They named Mirage Mirror. So Heart of Kieran is live. Argyle's Bloodfast, also live. Um, I think I'm in the mood for Argyle's Bloodfast. Hmm. Heart of Kieran's not bad either. Aetherborn or Bloodfest? That's eh, Bloodfest. Good draw. Yeah, Todd's not even streaming. He's just playing Brawl, having a great time. What a filthy casual Todd is. Alright, land go. Land field of ruin. Um, kind of want to just draw a card. 
Yeah, we're just going to draw a card. Just going to go draw a card. We have Field of Rome we can push if we really have to also, but... Nah, there was no Vintage, unfortunately. Vintage was a false start. I built this really cool Vintage deck, and I was excited to play. I've never played Vintage online before, and we joined the queue, and there was 39 players in, uh, in the Vintage League. We sat there forever, didn't get a match, and uh, yeah, it was uh, kind of lame, honestly. So we had to audible. We decided Brawl was a good audible, and here we are. Okay. So now we can Gonti or we can Aetherborn and Heart of Kirin. Um, I kind of like Gonti because I can hit a ramp spell possibly. And ramping seems pretty great. I think we're just going to Gonti. Uh, it was a Oath of Druids, Burning Wish, Paradoxical Outcome, Ridiculous Deck. It's from Jerry's article recently. I guess we Gonti. It's hard not to Gonti. He's our commander. We have to cast him. Oh, our promise? We even have a desert? That's so awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. That's awesome. I'm stoked. Now, I didn't play Numat yet. He uh, queued another matchup. Keep an eye on his stream. Keep an eye on my stream. And when we're both not in matches, we're going we're gonna to jam. And our promise is insane. Why don't I dual queue Vintage and something else? It's hard enough to play one match when you're streaming. I don't want to play two. And nobody was actually playing Vintage. So, so we go Scavenger Grounds, Our Promise, Double Desert. We get two zombies. We get to ramp. We have a blood fast in play. Big things to do. And this is great. This is awesome. Todd smashed him. Sweet. Um, I think the retrofitting the old themes frames is like a little out of line with like what they usually do on Magic Online. Like usually they just leave the old cards looking the way they look. It's a little weird. I'm not a huge fan. I I, I think the new frame is fine, but like I think they should stay the way that where they are. Super sick bird, Gideon's Intervention. You imagine if they name Our Promise? Like, biggest, biggest uh, stream snipe ever. Aw, oh, this is not fair. This card is against the spirit of the format. Gideon's Intervention, naming your commander? That's so lame. Boo! Boo, opponent, boo! Oh, you can do this thing. All right. That's so lame. What a jerk. What a jerk. Um, the vintage list is on my Twitter. Now I don't even feel bad about casting our promise. Two, four, six mana. I need three more. That's really lame. I don't like that. All right. Um, let's cast our hour promise. We're going to get our two deserts. So... I mean, getting Arch of Araska is pretty cool, but I think the end of getting the zombies is even better. So let's get both of our deserts. We have plenty of things to do with our mana. Pretty smart. Yeah, it's smart the first time when you think about it, but then it's like, oh, that's pretty lame. Oh, duh. <laughs> We're sending a message. Sending a message. That's lame. We can't kill an enchantment. What do you think this is? Did I ask our new sub questions? Super Sick Bird, what's your name? Where are you from? Sweltering Sons? Gilded Lotus? This is. They have no cards in hand. All they have is this Sakama. We should draw a removal spell. It'll be fine. That's not a removal spell. What does this card do? Destroys artifact or enchantment, gains three life, deals three damage. They have one. Yeah, they have gilded, they have gilded lotus. So yeah, spy gas is lame too. Our opponent is playing all the lame cards. Um, so our mirror's dead. Our Gonti's dead. 
We just need to draw an answer to his stupid thingy. Yeah, univ honestly, Universal Sovereign should probably be in our deck. Compass. Man, this card's really good once it gets into play. Well, this game's almost done too, honestly, so. Bone Picker. Man. Okay, Compass flips. I guess we just like play Compass, flip it, let them kill our blood fast, draw a card. I guess we just discard the mirror, right? I can't actually remove this from play. So. Yeah, Burns needs to get in here because this is this is this is very rude. This feels very against the spirit of the format. Gideon's intervention naming your commander. Very, very rude. But yeah, I think that I think that uh it's like a one mana enchantment or one, one mana artifact, like tap five and kill anything. Should probably be in our deck. Univer oh, it's tap seven, right? Universal solvent. Cultivator's caravan. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're not doing anything sweet. Should just sit here and draw cards. Awesome. Need to draw up Varaska's Contempt. Dead Eye Tracker. Numa's gonna wait. All right, I'll try and go fast here. Um, Demon of Dark Schemes. Draw another card. Just gonna play a bunch of crap, I think. Yeah. Relic. Heart of Kieran. Aetherborn. Dead Eye Tracker. I mean, we can kill it with Battle of the Bridge. It's not as efficient as killing it with, like, whatever. I can't cast my commanders. They have a stupid card in play because they're so rude. But I guess this is the way you build, build a commander deck, right? You just have no relevant cards but your commander and just, like, play a bunch of stupid stuff that stops your opponent. Doesn't have haste, right? Vigilance Reach Trample. So we just gotta kill this stupid thing and uh, keep killing it. They have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have eleven mana. They can play it again. Like we threw away some cards, but like we drew a bunch of cards anyway. That's oh, two more. Oh, you can't see if it costs more. It seems like. All right, so Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Oh, it's Tap Sacrifice? Lame. Uh, whatever. That's not bad. Uh, so we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11 mana. So I can go Tetsamok, cast it, picker, siphoner. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but sure. Tetsamok. Kill it. Siphoner, sure, Bone Picker. 
Oh, that's so lame. The it doesn't die; it just goes to exile. So that my bone picker doesn't work. That's lame. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just explore. Can't explore either. Oh, I can't target cards in graveyards. God, so annoying. Oh, the flag is the number of times you cast it. I just thought it was like I thought it was like one. Like you have one card in the command zone. Yeah, opponent's playing very rude cards. We'll just keep killing this stupid thing, though. I mean, they can't kill Tets. I guess they can double bolt Tets Tetsamok. Sandworm Convergence? Wow. Just the freaking rudest. Herald of Anguish. It's not bad. Alright, um... I guess we push Harold. This deck beat Newmont. Seems like a really good commander deck. It's creatures with flying can attack. Uh, that's annoying. So my Herald Vanguard can't attack. Be the Bone Picker. Yeah, I guess you just gotta have a disenchant in this format. A braid? Like, I don't think we can actually beat our opponent. Like, realistically. Our flyers don't do anything. We can't remove Samar Convergence or Gideon's Intervention. We can't necessarily beat the Zakma. Newmont's done. All right, we'll we'll scoop maybe like next turn if things don't turn around a little bit. Gonti's so sweet though. All right, whatever. Fine. Tell Newmont I'm ready. Tell him to challenge me. Not very fun. I'm not gonna lie. Liliana. We can't actually remove convergence, so. Newmont, bring it on. Tell Newmont to queue up. Man, what a what a pile of unfun cards. Like I feel like that negates, like, if if um, Sandworm Convergence and, like, uh, Gideon's Intervention are, like, staples in the format, you can't play Mono Black, right? I don't think there's only one way in the entire format to remove stuff. Is that true? Are there, what are ways Mono Black can kill an enchantment? I guess you please play Duress, I guess, too. Like, we did, we did cut the Duress from our deck, but, like, you have to draw your Duress, obviously. We have a Doomfall... I guess you just gotta play discard spells? Like, all right, let's go. Going first. I heard my teammate Todd crushed you. Hardikiran, Battle, Gonti, Keep. Numat's commander is... God, this thing, again? Right, popular. We shall... Shall continue the BCW crush train. All right. Yes. Curzon, good. No, no spoilers by my opponent's end. Um, let's go. 
Universal Solvent, Torment of Scarabs. All right. Uh, let's roll. Oops. I wanted to play this card. I was saying this card was cool. All right. Uh, Hardik here and go. Nice lands too. It's good. This card seems really good. <laughs> Has Brawl already been broken? Just play this card. So our, our opponent's deck was very, very good last round. Alright. Scavenger Grounds, Tilt. Um, I was having fun playing Brawl until my opponents played uh, Gideon's Intervention. It's like a cast out? Sure. Let's hit uh, our promise again with our Gonti. This card's pretty cool. I like this card. Forest? Sure. Oops. Alright, Gonti. Get to work. What do you got for us? Settle the wreckage. That's a pretty good one. And lands. Alright. Gift of Paradise, got it. Treasure Keeper. I do like Treasure Keeper, I'm not going to lie. Um, Liliana's a little awkward with Demon of Dark Schemes, that's okay. So we're going to fire up Hardik here in. Liliana, make a token. We hit a Walk the Plank. Coming in. Uh-oh. Nothing. All right. Sweet. Oh, Gift of Paradise. That's where Light King came from. Guild, yeah, this is a card I missed. I missed this card really bad. Um, this is a card that should definitely be in my deck and is not. Guild Lotus seems borderline broken in a commander format like this. So, we need an answer to this silly card. This card's insane, too. Wow. Alright. 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 Resub! Chilling and waiting for Dominaria. Everyone is playing Brawl Smiley Face. What's up, Yor? Thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. All right. God Pharaoh's Gift is cool. Got to kill this thing. Um, so I guess we're going to battle with the bridge. We have to hit the... Can we do that? We have six. Yeah, we can battle the bridge with the Heart of Kirin. All right. So what's plus... So we don't have the plus yet. Actually, yeah, let's just crew attack with Gonti and Hardikiran. I mean, he's playing this stupid thing next turn, but we can't really do much about it at this present time. So. This card is pretty sweet. Me and Nicole had this card in 2 HG, and uh, it really let us down in our last round. We had to hit some spells to stay alive, and we were not able to do that. We hit land, 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 like one drop or something. All right, so next turn they cast this stupid card. This thing, this card's really good. We missed this one too. They're at 21. Yeah, this is going to be a, a, a massacre. This card's too good. The Primal Calamity. Calamity. 
So they have so got seven mana. So disenchant shock. Oh wait, what? We have more mana than that. We have more than I thought we did. This thing's insane. This thing's really good. They can double bolt the Liliana. Yeah, I don't know if we can win. This card just seems unbeatable. This card seems like it literally does everything you'd want to do in this format. It kills artifacts and enchantments. It's a huge mana sink. It's huge. And it, uh... It's just really, really good. How do we beat this card? I don't know if we can. Uh... We have nothing to reanimate. Yeah, I think we're in... We can settle it, but then they just get more mana. This game feels really over. I'm going to agree. Uh, two, two. Plus Herald of Anguish. Two, six. I got nothing, folks. Treasure Keeper. Give me sugar. If we could have sell, could have sold it, I guess. But hmm. Unbridled growth, yeah. Hmm. Cascade? Bontu's Monument, awesome. Lord. Attack for nine. They attack Liliana. This thing is this thing is absurd. Hmm. All right. Uh. Guess we're just gonna say that's too obvious. All right. Saying go is a little too obvious. This is Gonti, I guess. A braid, fumigate, prism, channel initiate. I guess fumigate's like okay. Sorcerer Spyglass, that's a good one. That's a good one. Cultivator's caravan. Thematic Compass, Flip, Desert, no, for sure, yeah, I, I was having fun until, until this card, this this card became a thing, and now I'm not having fun anymore, can't hit, can't hit players, it's only creatures, okay, definitely having less fun, um, Like I don't, I don't see a way for our deck to conceivably beat this card. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking about it, and like we have to, we have to just race it. Like there's really no other option. We cannot, you can't stop it from being a thing except with Gideon's intervention. Um, so like there's just no answer. Our artifacts, enchantments, and creatures are all worthless. Gati costs eight. Counter spells seem reasonable. Um, that's fair. 
Newmont's having a good time. That's fair. That's fair. Spyglass is reasonable. Although, obviously, you can kill Spyglass in these colors. Like, that's the problem. Is I guess you just can't play Mono Black because you can't kill an artifact or an enchantment. And that seems to be really important in this format. Settle. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, I just cast it again. This, this card is really good. We definitely missed this one for sure. Is this card played in, in normal commander? I don't play commander, so I don't really know. Um, Alright, I mean, I got basically nothing here. I can turn mirror into a... I mean, they just keep disenchanting it, right? He's a storm commander in normal... Wow. That's wacky. Unstoppable. Return target dinosaur. Cast Atali. Doomfall. All right. <laughs> All right, we're dead. Numa got us. We are behind in the format. We're behind. Oh, it's a match. All right, you got us, Newmont. That's our vintage deck. All right, brutal. We have been smacked up. Yep. So yeah. So that was that was a match between me and Newmont the Nummy, and uh, we uh, we're both playing Brawl. People in chat were like, "Yeah, we should play each other." So we play each other, and then uh, we got wrecked. So uh, we've exposed a serious flaw in our in our our deck. We beat our first two opponents pretty easily, and then we played against. Um, um, that's funny because that was almost the card that we played. Zakama, or no, we, we almost played Gislath. Never mind. Zakama's too good. Format solved. Our deck can't kill an artifact or an enchantment, so we're in trouble. That's okay though. We're gonna finish our league and we're gonna win more matches with our Pontus Monument. Yeah, we keep here. Ronus the Indomitable. Alright, they're not playing the, the dinosaur, so we can, we can win. If you folks are tuning in, welcome to the stream. We were going to play Vintage today. We're playing uh, Brawl instead because nobody actually plays Vintage online. If you haven't uh, followed the stream, make sure you follow. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub on YouTube. And um, yeah, all new subs today. We got a pile of packs here. Every new sub, we're going to open a pack. If you open up a foil or a. I was gonna play this land, I think. I think we're, we never actually want to cycle this. Um, open a foil, mythic or rare. We're gonna give it away live on stream. So that's for your new subs. Sweet. Well, now that I got compass, maybe I didn't want to play the cycling land, but that's okay. I feel like with Gonti, you just never run out of cards. So, unless your opponent makes it so you can't cast it. All right, yeah, take one. Got it. How about Bantu's Monument? Uh, you can use Planeswalkers as your commander, yes. All right, there's Ronus, the Indomitable. How does the discount thing work with Galita in Brawl? Probably well for you, I would assume. All right, so here's Gonti. Trigger. 
Growing Rites of Itmok, Bristling Hydra, Nardum Cobra, Verderous Gearhulk. Verderous Gearhulk is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, it's got to be Verderous Gearhulk. Field of Ruin. So, yeah, Brawl, Brawl seems very fun. I'm definitely not, obviously casual formats are not really my, my forte, but um, it's so cheap and easy to build a deck that like, we built this deck in five minutes. We were like, we were gonna play Vintage, decided we couldn't do it, decided to build a Brawl deck, and we were done deck building in 10 minutes, and now we're here playing. That's pretty fun. So, whoa, that thing's big. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's a huge one. How about a removal spell? Nah. Okay. I mean, Gonti works, I guess. We're taking a lot of damage next turn. I think we're just going to play uh, an 8-8. Make some blocks. Liliana ain't doing much. Yeah, this card seems like a pretty good, good commander also. Thrashing Brontodon. Tilt. I mean, it is a strict two for one, but that kind of sucks. We still have Gonti. I mean, Gonti blocks Kalita pretty well. We are taking a, a ton of damage, but we're also close to flipping this, but they do have a Field of Ruin, so... Alright, this is a pretty good block for us, right? Block with Gonti and let him go to the graveyard? I mean, why? We just recast him. We're at 7? Bone Picker? Ugh. Who built this deck? Ronus itself does not have trample. Um, you know, like Lily, well, minus thing Lily to get back Gonti doesn't do anything. Like, all right. Uh, Rishkar's expertise. All right. Man, we are... That that Brontodon was rough. Maybe there's not enough removal in our deck? What is this? Uh, We're dead. That's exactly eight. Wow. Man, we were doing so good, too. Field of Ruin. Why don't you attack with Field of Ruin? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's exactly eight. Tilt. All right. We're on a losing streak. We've lost three in a row. We got a rally here. Man. We have a lot of removal in our deck, too. That was brutal. Opponent's deck seemed pretty good. All right, Caravan, Ballista, Mirror. Yeah, this is great. Keep. Their commander is also Gonti. Okay. Tannin, I totally agree with you. I cannot stand multiplayer formats. Can't stand it. It's actually torture. I'd rather do anything else. But 1v1 is fun. And this is... This is a good entry point. I, I, I think that... I, I said this in my article a while ago. I felt that um, Brawl is a brilliant idea. Because getting into com commanders is like a huge investment. Like, cards are expensive. 
There's so many cards to look through. It's so hard to build a deck. Like, this was easy. I built a deck in 10 minutes. It's fun. I'll play it for a bit. Maybe I'll build a new deck. Whatever. You know, the cards are so cheap. It's just, like, it's just a good time. All right. Um, I think we're going to scry upkeep. Actually, no. Never mind. We're going we're gonna to caravan scry. It's even better. They can't draw a card yet. We cast Blist on two if we have to. We can go Scry, Upkeep, or Scry now, Scry, Upkeep, Blist on two. Yeah, this is great. Opponent seems to have felt the same things we felt when they were building, uh, we were building our deck. Honestly, I don't think I want to miss any land drop. I'm just going to top that. No, brawls up. Yeah, brawls. I should have upkeep scribe. That was dumb. Oh, never mind. I, I knew a card. Obviously, never mind. I'm being. I'm being stupid. I'm sorry, everyone. For those who don't know, talking and playing is difficult. Right, so not casting Gonti here because we're just gonna kill this gun sleep siphoner. We get a, a ballista in play. We get to scry. This is a pretty good sequence for us. What's up, Dino? Uh, I don't recall ever saying that Tyler Shacker is the best designed magic card. I just said it's the best card ever printed. And I stand by that statement irrefutably. Later, Swaz. Yeah, it's fun playing the cards you don't usually get to play, for sure. Sure. So I guess we're going to let this happen and then scry. We could, like, try and not give them a good card, but that's pretty tenuous. What's up, Maverick Girl? Brawl. Tower Tracker. Yeah, me and Tower Tracker get along real good. Bantu's Monument. Um, can we cast this and Gonti? We can. So I guess we're just going to go Gonti this next turn. Sure. Wait, what's we're going to flip map? So we... I don't have to use a treasure. So... Yeah, that's worth it. Right? We go Monument. Yeah, we're, Maverick Girl, we're having some fun. We, uh, we, it was our first experience playing Brawl, and uh, we got browned really hard by uh, Willy Adel and Numat, both playing the the 9-mana uh, Elder Dragon Untap All Your Lands Dinosaur. That card's basically unbeatable in this format. It does literally everything you'd want to do. It disenchants things, it kills things, it's a huge win condition, and it seems like non-creature permanents are really, really important in this format, and our mono black deck can't kill them. We had one opponent play Gideon's Intervention and name our commander, so we just couldn't play our commander for the rest of the game, which sucked. Um, so we're we're learning stuff here. It's our first it's our first try. I think we're two and three, counting counting the Newmont match. So, all right. So options here are to flip map and sack a treasure to cast Gonti. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We lose one treasure in the exchange, but get to get to draw cards next turn. Bloodfast is going on top. Then we get to go Gonti, black black treasure. Yeah, it was it was gross. Like we got wrecked. I think we could have had our entire deck in our hand and not been able to win. So like we're not playing cards like Sorcerer Spyglass, which can beat it. We we didn't we weren't aware of the of the the brawl meta game. So, um, we, uh, we got wrecked. All right, so we're going to take the, uh, I guess Spyglass? I don't even know. Harvester. Harvester's pretty good with Liliana. Walk the planks, whatever. I guess Harvester. All right. Mm, ship turns keys. Uh, Dominaria should be online tomorrow, yes. Sky Sovereign. That card's good. Yeah, opponent's playing red. Oh, I misclicked. God damn it. I assume they would just kill my Gonti. How do they have a red card in their deck? They are cheating. Make them stop cheating. All right, Bloodfast. 
Sky Sovereign's also pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I feel like not having Disenchant in your deck in this format is probably pretty stupid. Um, Arch of Araska, that's pretty cool. Because uh, we cast Mirror, Harvester, and say go. Arganti's not long for this world. That's for sure. Hmm. We can make a Sky Sovereign, theoretically. Will Brawl ever take over Standard as the PT format of choice? I can say with absolute confidence, no, it will not. It's definitely a fun casual format. If this was a Pro Tour format, I don't think I'd want to play in that Pro Tour. Um, so no crew. It's funny, so I think we both want Arganti to die here. Um, given that I have more mana and I have less cards in my hand, I think this is a pretty easy trade. Yeah, that's Ganti. I mean, now I can just copy Sky Sovereign. I guess I gotta, I can, yeah, I can crew, crew, Sky Sovereign. So I can't kill their Sky Sovereign. Swamp. You resub during a vodcast? That's okay, Clock. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I guess we Ganti. Um. Hmm. I mean, we can copy Sky Sovereign and use it, but it doesn't really do anything. All right, let's just Gonti, I guess. Cost five because of our Bantu's monument. Torment of Hailfire, Noxious Gearhulk, Swamp, Lay Bear the Heart. Okay. I mean, Torment of Hailfire seems pretty cool, right? We have a lot of mana, you just fire this thing off for a million. Um, which means we want to pressure our opponent's life total, so I think we're going to attack with the thing. Okay. Let's play land. Uh, we're going to crew Harvester, which is going to crew a Sky Sovereign. New sub, uh, Dreger X. Dred Am I saying it wrong? Dr it's not Dredger. Dreger EX. EX, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? What do you want to name Nicole's puppy? And we got to open a pack for you. Every new sub, we open up a pack. Open a Mythic or Foil Rare, and we'll give it away live on stream. So we're going to... Two mana. Mirror becomes a copy of Sky Sovereign. Lich's Mastery. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait. Is that not how this card works? Uh, it worked. All right. Um, then we're going to... Crew Harvester. So Gothi gets in the Harvester. All right. The Harvester gets inside the sky ship and the sky ship could get inside the caravan but we're not going to go that far we're just going to attack we're going to kill Gonti and deal six the important thing here is that we're actually just dealing six because our goal is to get them low and then cast a huge torment of hailfire from their deck We can draw a card off Treasure Cove. Might actually just want to have the mana on for Hailfire. So, Freebooter? Sure. Can't crew Sky Sovereign yet. 
It looks like this number does not actually indicate the amount of times that the uh, the commander is cast. The number on the command zone thing. Grave digger, sure. Now they can cruise Sky Sovereign. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can cast this for eight. I don't think that's good enough. They can just sacrifice the grave digger and the other thing. Alright. Twilight Prophet. What does Gati cost? Gati costs seven. We have six, seven, eight, nine. We have five, six, seven, eight. So we're one short of being able to crew Scavern again and kill something. We could use our treasure. At least we'll just do that. Liliana. Make a token. Twilight Prophet. City's Blessing. Mana. Mana. Lich's Mirror. Sky Sovereign. We're going to leave a Prophet back on D, I suppose. We can crew the Harvester and then crew the Sky Sovereign. Put the boat in the boat. Attack with the boat. I want to kill the Gravedigger. Um, makes it harder for them to crew this. I don't think Bloodfast matters at all, basically. So, mostly interested in just dealing them damage. Um, so I can fire off this Torment and make it really good. Yeah, Lich's Mastery is one of those cards where you got to put it in a deck and just see what happens. It's impossible to parse, like, what it actually does. So. I got to open a pack. I'm sorry. Pack for the new sub. Like I said, every new sub, open up a booster pack. And uh, that image you see right there is going to be in my article tomorrow. That's all I got to say. It's a teaser. Open a pack. We open a foil. We give a foil rare or mythic. Give it away live on stream. Here we go. Opponents have a tank anyway. Don't worry about it. All right, so we got... Conquistador. Nature. Ripjaw Raptor. A foil! Uncommon. Sorry, folks. Not giving that one away. Bonded Horn Crest. Forest. Vampire. Bane Whip Punisher is the card my opponent plays. I guess our Twilight Prophet is dead. Hey, Burnsy. Would you like a Dire Fleet Hoarder? There you go. Burnt after watching a Twitch Prime sub. Twitch Prime sub. Burnt after watching, same questions. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, no vintage, unfortunately. Uh, no time that we can't brew up a, a Goblin deck. I, I have to do it off stream. Um, so Burnt after watching another, another, another. I'm going to kill Liana here. That's fun. Another pack to open, and yes, Patrick Ewing and Laquatus' champion will be in the article tomorrow. Another pack. Another sub, another pack. Draw step is a field of ruin, which is actually a fine draw. Alright, there we go. Bang. Let's get to the good stuff. Jungle Creeper. Woodland Stream. Darren Buccaneer. Jade Light Ranger, cool. Forest, token, no foil. Sorry. Burn After Watching is Derek from Washington, D.C., playing since Kamigawa. Derek, thanks for subbing. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, I don't know what this is going to do. I'm just going to cast it. Sometimes it's better just to not know what ha what's going to happen. X is currently 8. There you go. What happens? 8 times 3... They have four permanents to sack. I have cards to discard too, right? This probably isn't good enough, honestly. Probably should have just played Gonti, but whatever.
Or like activate it. Or Sky Sovereign again. This card seems really good in this format. Mirage Mirror. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So they have to sacrifice or discard three things to stay, or four things to stay alive. No good spot for this. What's up, Dump Truck? What's up, my friends? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. We're playing some Brawl. We wanted to play Vintage, but nobody else wanted to play Vintage, so we're playing some Brawl. We uh, built a Brawl deck real fast. My first experience playing Brawl. Just threw together a Gonti deck. And uh, if you want to win in Brawl, play Zakama or whatever. And just play a bunch of Disenchants. You'll never lose. We got wrecked. Yeah, big. We lost to that, too. Zakama, Gideon. Gideon's Intervention seems extremely against the spirit of the format. Our opponent played Gideon's Intervention, and we couldn't cast our commander, and we have no way to remove it. It's pretty lame, honestly. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, like, playing a mono black deck is probably not doable without a lot of this card. All right, our opponent is resolving Torment of Hailfire. While we're waiting for our opponent to do that, I'm going to remind everyone to follow the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, follow on there, please. Also, hop on to Twitter. Make sure you follow on the old Twitter sphere. Oops, that's not Twitter. There's Twitter. Follow on the old Twitter sphere, at Jim Davis MTG. This is the Vintage deck we were going to play today, but nobody wanted to play with us. So, make sure you follow my team also, Team BCW. I believe Tannen was in chat. Myself, Brendan DeCandio, Todd Stevens, Ross Merriam, and Tannen Grace. Follow us at team underscore BCW. And it's it resolved. Opponent went to five. They discarded a never return, a Tetsamok. Took a bunch of damage, sacrificed a few creatures. And now they have a Sky Sovereign. Wait, that's my Sky Sovereign. That's rude as hell. Um, And a Bane with Punisher. All right, I mean, so they're about to go to two. Unless they have a removal spell. I guess we gain life, right? Whatever. You had an unfinished league. What happens? I think it just pays out whatever record you had. The vintage check is... Uh, I, sh I just showed it. It was on my Twitter. It was uh, Paradoxal Outcome, Oath of Druids, Burning Wish. All right. This game feels pretty pretty in hand here. So definitely some changes we would make to our deck for sure, but our deck's kind of cool. Probably needs more discard. Honestly. Maybe Varaska is a better way to go. Varaska seems really good. Being able to disenchant stuff over and over and over again seems awesome. Could have built Scarab God, didn't. Up. Oh, they're putting their boat into a boat. They're at two. So they're dead to any three power creature. They're dead to it. No, we have a we have a clone. They're dead to a lot of things. Battle at the bridge. Alright, well. Gonti costs a million, but we're casting him. Go to one. Seeker, Squire, and Lands. All right, so they're never just dead. Cool. Bantu's Monument. Broken. Must be banned in, in Brawl. Ah, oh, they have Contempt. No? Yes? Maybe? Must ban. Must ban the monument. Too good. Too good. I mean, they're dead like seven ways till Sunday. 
Essence Extraction on Gonti. So now we just Crew Harvester and kill them. It's three. Nothing of theirs has died. They can't Fatal Push. You just Crew Caravan for good measure. I tapped the mana for some reason. Oh, Alright, fine. Copy this. Crew that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Cloning Gonti and sacking to Legend Rule. Also lethal. No, it doesn't, it doesn't come into play. Alright, so. All in all. A, a, nope, not that. This is the deck we were going to play once again. All in all, a fun experience. Um. Our Gonti deck was pretty good. We uh, ran afoul a little bit of uh, what apparently is going to be the scourge of the format, which is the three-headed dinosaur thing. Oh, no, Fizzle of a Life Gain. Sure, that's fair. They were dead many, many ways. So I think our deck was built a little wrong. Um, I really like that Newmont was playing that, that Pyramid that I kind of said I liked, but didn't pull a trigger on. Um, why is it MTG Brawl? Where is it? Yeah, this card seemed great. Uh, seemed really, really good. So, um, we didn't have any, any answers, really, to any artifacts or enchantments. And that seems like it's going to be one of the most important things in the format, truth be told. If you're going to play mono black, you probably need a good amount of discard. And you probably need to play, however silly it is as it is, uh, Universal Solvent. Which is just like a way to kill something, I suppose. Mostly just, um, mostly just discard spells, probably. That's true, that's true. You might accidentally make a, make a deck for uh, Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, Hearthstone is a brawl format, sure. So, um, yeah, this card, where is it? Like, yeah, like, like Sandworm Convergence, our opponent played that, we couldn't beat it. Um, just couldn't remove it, you know? And then more importantly, where's the, where's the big dinosaur? Where is he? We lost to it. I don't remember what it's called. This card. That's off the screen. This card. Primal Calamity. Uh, this card seems unbeatable. <laughs> like, seems to be the best commander. Might even be better than Scarab God, honestly. Um, you just ramp to it and play it, and it does literally everything you want. You want Disenchants. You want Mana Sinks. You want a big threat. You want removal. Does everything. So... We were on level zero of the format. It feels like level one is Zakama. Is there a way to beat Zakama? Probably. Obviously, Dominaria is not even out yet. But level one of the format seems like this card. It seemed really, really good. So either way, I had fun. Hopefully, you guys had fun also. And um, I think that's going to do it for the stream. Um, we're going to do a John and Jim show, assuming that John had a good day in school uh, a little bit later on, maybe in like 20 minutes. So, um, try Vintage again. Um, I mean, I'm not joining a league for Vintage. I can't, I don't want to join a league and then, like, have to play one match every day because no one plays it, you know? Dumb truck. I know, my friend. I'm sorry. Well, John Jim Show is going to be on the stream, obviously. So, for those who don't know, John Jim Show is a, a show I do with my stepson. Um, past videos are on the YouTube. And, uh, we play classic retro video games. And, uh, you can see that right here looking for an example of that what's up misfortune what's up uh so this we'll, we're, we'll be doing this later today a rack's pretty cool pretty sweet right it's a lot of fun kirby's adventure other classic games john jim show uh a little later today now you can you can leave a league if you drop from a league with uh before playing a match you're you, you get a refund so that's going to be that. Um, take a short break. Um, I guess I'll 
leave the stream up. Yeah, I guess. That's fine. So, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. YouTube video's over. Thanks for watching.